Because sometimes our children are orphans with both parents. Why? Because the father has no time. That's the thing. No time. I have no time. So your child is an orphan. Mother, too busy with makeup and accessories and everything else and you know so what she looks like. So she won't mind spending half an hour in front of the mirror, but she cannot spend half an hour with the child. I'm not talking of all mothers. I mean, come on. We all have the best of wives, mashallah, alhamdulillah, uh, who are good to their, to their children. But this, is, is, this idea is growing. Or should I say this problem is on the increase, on the rise, where there are orphans in our own homes. It happens more so in affluent homes. Sometimes we don't realize, you know, the au pair or the, one, the, the, the guardian or the child minder is looking after the child and we are not bothered. When last have you sat with your child and had a good discussion? The fathers. We can do better. So your child might be an orphan in your own home. So what happens when they need to say something, they say it to the wrong people, to their friends. They get advice from the television, from the internet. They get advice from a direction that is not supposed to be the primary source of their direction. Yet, we were there, but we didn't have time for them. So they were worse than orphans. Because orphans, you know, they, they, they don't have options sometimes. But with these, we have the options. And then we get upset that my child is inclined in this direction or that direction without realizing, where was I? Where was I all these years? Why didn't I play a big role? And I always tell people, you know, my brothers and sisters, uh, when you work, ask yourself, how much do I want to earn? So put yourself a target. And say you want to earn a million, for example. Just an example. I didn't say what. It could be rupees. It could be anything. <laughs> say you want to set yourself a target of a million. Okay, you set it. Beyond that, remember one thing. You may find it much more beneficial to cut your hours of work than to increase you the amount of wealth you're earning. This is something, especially for those who have their own work, you know, those who are self-employed. Initially, to build the business, you might have to do things yourself and you might work very hard. We hope that your spouse is understanding and we hope that you are compensating the lost time with your children by taking them out often whenever you are with them or spending weekends at least with them and talking to them in a beautiful way, listening to them. We'll get to a few of these pointers in a few moments. But... Uh, if you do not set yourself a target, you'll find yourself living a whole life up to the point of death in such a way that you did not fulfill the role that Allah placed on your shoulders of passing the candle on to the next generation. What you taught them is, look, life is all about making money. You make money, you sit. A lot of us teach our children this without realizing. Life is all about making money. When you've got your, 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 your car, state of the art, your house, state of the art, and you've got everything set for you, a brilliant salary or a nice business that has so much and it's growing and so on, then you're successful. A lot of us, we, we don't realize that that's what we actually tell our children without even speaking to them. Because they watch us. Where's dad? He's at work. Default answer. But the time, it's so late. Dad is at work. Couldn't dad cut out a little bit of that working time? Couldn't he shift his working place after a certain period of time, you know? You might want to change the, the, the area of work if it has come to hinder your relation with your children. Because this is more important than that. So mothers sometimes couldn't be bothered. They don't spend enough time. And sometimes, I know, we are not saying all the time, I know that a lot of our mothers are very, very dedicated. But sometimes not. And this is why we need reminders. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really uh, to open our doors in that regard.